Okay, today I'm gonna get started on my Greek vase. To start, I'm gonna take my paper and fold it in half hot dog style. I want it to look like a nice skinny hot dog bun. What I'm gonna do is draw on half this paper and I wanna think of this fold as my line of symmetry. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna draw a base. You can make it fancy or simple. And I'm gonna come back up. And sometimes I like to practice drawing with my finger or you can practice on a practice piece of paper to get an idea for what you want your vase to look like. And I'm gonna come all the way up almost to the side of my paper. And I'm gonna add a top. And then if I wanna add a handle, I can put a handle right here. Now, before I cut, I wanna double check, open it up, make sure the middle is where my fold is. Make sure this folded line is gonna be your middle. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a broken vase. So make sure this fold is the middle. Then I'm just gonna carefully cut it out. Be real careful when you get to the handles. You can kinda of take the whole thing, fold it in half, make a little snip, then carefully put your scissors through it. Now I've got my vase, it's time for the moment of truth. I'm gonna open it up and voila, I have reflectional symmetry. Here's my line of symmetry. And whatever I see on this side, I see the same on the other side. Now I'm ready to paint my vase. So to start, I'm gonna use some yellow temper cakes. I'm gonna put my brush in the water, wipe it on the lip, then put my brush in my paint. And I'm gonna paint the same curved line that I see on my vase. I can go ahead and paint the edges too. And I'm painting a curved line. I'm not painting a straight line like this. I'm painting a curved line to show the shape and the form of my vase. And down here at the bottom, just go ahead and paint that yellow too. So I'm gonna put yellow on one side. I can even go up into the middle. And then I'm gonna get ready to add orange in the middle of my vase. So I'm ready for a new color. I'm gonna clean my brush, wipe it on the lip, and get some orange paint. I'm gonna start on my yellow, and I'm gonna overlap it, and I'm painting this same curved line. I'm not painting a straight line like that. That's not gonna create the form that I want. I'm gonna paint a curved line. And I'm gonna overlap and blend those colors together. And I'm gonna keep painting with orange, and I'm gonna paint this same line on this side, and that's gonna help my vase look 3D. And I'm just gonna keep overlapping my colors to blend them together. So I've got yellow and orange. I'm gonna go almost all the way to the end of my vase. Remember, I'm painting the same line as my vase. And then finally, I'm gonna end with some brown. I gotta clean my brush first. And then get some round paint. And I'm gonna paint right up the edge. And I'm just gonna keep adding brown paint and I'm gonna overlap with my orange so that it looks like my vase gets a little bit darker. And we wanna make sure we're blending all our colors together. Don't be afraid to go back and get a little bit of another color. I can even take some yellow and add some yellow over here. And we just wanna blend these colors together. 
So this side looks lighter and this side looks darker. By having a light side, a dark side, and a medium side in the middle, your vase is going to look three dimensional. Again, I'm painting in the curve of my vase. I'm not painting straight lines up and down. Really focus on getting those curves. Once you're done painting the different colors, it's time to decorate. So to decorate, we're going to use a little bit of black paint and we're just going to paint some designs. Remember, I'm doing reflectional symmetry. So whatever I do on one side, I have to repeat on the other. If I do something that's right on my fold line, on my line of symmetry, it doesn't really need to repeat because it's on the line of symmetry. So again, whatever I do on one side, I have to do the same thing on the other. If I do something like a straight line or a curved line, you got to make sure it goes all the way across. So for my reflectional symmetry, if I've got a dot over there, I need a dot over here. If I've got a line, then I need a line. And you're just going to focus on creating patterns that have reflectional symmetry. As you're painting, I want you to focus on the top, the bottom, and the sides. Next time, we're going to find a hero to put in the middle. So try and leave the middle open as you paint today. Okay, I've painted my vase and I've got my designs. I left the middle blank so that I can add a hero to it next week. And now I'm ready for the last bit, which is splatter painting. I'm going to keep my paper nice and wet. I'm going to put it in some black or brown paint. You could even do yellow or orange. Then I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go like this with the bristles. And I think it looks nice if you have more splatter on the darker side of your vase than on the lighter side. So. That's it, my vase with reflectional symmetry. Have fun, amazing artists.